it's pride. Uh, being a bison is uh, means you have a lot of pride. Definitely takes a, a certain personality. <laughs> takes a relentless player. That's what we always talk about. Relentless pursuit on, on the defensive line. You have pride in what you do, no matter uh, if it's on the field, off the field. You're always just chasing the quarterback, and you never want to give up. Because the time you give up, the time you, you might get that sack, you might knock that ball loose. No. You gotta, you gotta realize you're hitting somebody every play. You gotta, in a sense, you gotta, you gotta like, you gotta like hitting people. The gun, Gray has time, and now. Play your responsibility, uh, you know, get after the pass and, you know, stop the run on first and second down so we can do what we're best at. Play our responsibility, play our gaps, and, you know, play comes our way, we make it. If not, we get a push and make it easy on the linebackers. Oh, yeah, we all, we all seem to bond pretty well. We're all kind of from the same area of the group of kids, I guess, that we have together, all like Midwestern kids, so it's easy for us to, to be cohesive and bond. And Gazer is a great coach. I do, man. It's, it's great playing for Coach Goose. He's one of those guys that's uh, he's not a yeller. He's more of a quiet guy. Uh, very good at finding subtle cues, uh, cues uh, from the other old line to pinpoint us off. And coach Goose has been up here for a long time. He knows how to, knows how to talk to it to us and uh, get to know us and bond well with us, I guess. That's part of our defense. We, we just trust each other so much that if the guy next to you is doing his job, it forces it to, to me or something, and I'm able to make a play if the D-tackle or the linebacker hit the right gap, and, or if we have the right coverage, I'm able to get a sack or a pressure or whatnot. So I think it's just credit to our whole defense. Really. Got to be smart. Uh, Got to be smart and you got to be able to take coaching because a lot of kids haven't been coached on the footwork and stuff and you have to be a very, very heady player. I, don't, I think everyone kind of takes turns just loosening things up at practice. Everyone's got a story here and there that they tell and it's no, no one clown but a bunch of us I guess.